9.09 on this beautiful Monday morning. Cody Bass is here from the Tahoe Wellness Center. How are you? I'm doing well. Doing great. Yeah. So what's going on? You're going into city council tomorrow. You guys yes. have a meeting. So we, uh, we're on the uh, agenda tomorrow at 2 o'clock, and uh, we'd really like to uh, get as many people that can be there to, to show up and uh, just you know express what Tahoe Wellness is to our community. And uh, you know well, we've been here for eight years, and we're at a position uh, that we've gotten into where we can purchase this property and really, uh, you know, hold our interest here for the very long term uh, to come. And essentially, we uh, have to renew our permit with the city every two years. And uh, there has to be consent from a property owner, which uh, we do have under our lease. However, because of uh, the litigation and things that we're going through, uh, the property owner was unwilling to sign the new application. Darn and it. So, uh, what we're asking the council's direction for is to uh, just have them extend our permit through the trial, which our trial date is set in February. Um, but it'd be really great for everybody in the community if they could show up. And, well, uh, and let's talk about that. I mean, what you know, what what do you think that your property means to the community? Let's talk about the wellness center and the cooperative center. And you guys do a lot. Yeah. No. I mean, you know, we really have uh, built a model um, around trying to get as many people in the community to participate with within the model that we have. Um, that's why we provide a community center for a safe space that anybody wants to create. You know, a, a positive. Uh, service that they can provide or even a gathering activism um, it's really there for everybody in the community to participate and that's why we uh, made it a separate entrance from the co-op that way everybody that you know wants to come you don't have to have a recommendation uh, the services are open to the whole community um, and everything's free I mean most everything is free <laughs> everything is absolutely free we we you know do allow the uh, instructors to take donations and uh, but it we provide the services for free uh, to the whole community and yeah. I've loved that that the the community have got have people that like say have a Pilates center or something and they charge their customers they would still come and do a Pilates class for you for the community to for free and that's just a great it's a great integration. Yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's awesome. And it really allows, you know, other, if again, like you said, somebody that has a Pilates studio can, can come and kind of um, more or less expand their services to open it up and then, you know, also be able to uh, promote their own studio or their own uh, yoga, you know, holistic services that they provide. So. Yeah. And then there's the medicine side. And we did just legalize, California legalized marijuana. Right. But your, you know, your recommendation from a doctor, this is a service, a medical service. Absolutely. So the Prop 64 passing uh, is, a, is a great thing. You know, we really, um, we really needed to get rid of a lot of the felony criminal codes that were on the books and were very outdated and, and just not, uh, they were just not correct in my opinion in a lot of ways. And so it's, it's a great thing that we've got, gone away from those. Uh, however, there's a lot of regulation within the bill, um, which isn't a bad thing, but there's a lot to work through. Uh, it's really up to the city council if they're going to allow for recreational sales. Um, the, the state will not issue a license until January of 2018. So uh, Tahoe Wellness, we're, we're going to have to have a recommendation at least up until that point. And that's if the city council were to allow recreational sales. So that's for tomorrow, it would be good to have both sides come. People that already have, you know, have the card and are using the medicine, they need to come and support you. And then anybody from the community that's used the the co-op or the um, the center, yeah, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, yeah. uh, and there's also a, an agenda item, I believe it'll be somewhere around 11 o'clock that is on Prop 64. Uh, the, the chief of police and city attorney are doing a presentation. Um, and from reading the staff report and, and what they're presenting on, they're, they're kind of taking an approach of let's wait and see and don't rush into, uh, don't rush into, you know, regulating or passing it. The city could ban yeah. it if they would like to. I, I don't believe that that's what they'll do, but we need as many people to come and speak uh, as to, you know, that we should have recreational sales here and uh, that, it, you know, in a regulated model, it works much better than in our neighborhoods and totally. uh, it keeps it out of the hands of kids and, and a regulated model is much better than keeping it underground. It's going to be an interesting day it at is. the city council That's tomorrow. for sure. It's All right, full, so full what agenda. time again should people so start to show up? Our item is at 2 o'clock. Okay. Uh, time, you know, set for the time. The agenda item for Prop 64, I imagine, is around 11. City council starts at 9 and it's a few agenda items back and there's two new seats tomorrow on the council. So, yeah, it's going to yeah, be a big tomorrow's day. tomorrow's going to be a huge day. Yeah. All right. Well, well, I'm glad you came by. Awesome. And uh, everybody, show up, hang out. All right. Support. Thank you so much. Thanks, yes, Cody. Awesome. Have a great All day. All right. We will be back right after this.